In this class, we will learn about the fundamentals of 2D modeling in 3ds Max and 3D primitives in the software to provide more modeling options. Let's begin. Primitives are the basic solid shapes for creating all other objects. They have their own specific mesh properties and they adapt to any object you wish to model. Here we see some examples of primitives. Box, cube, cylinder, sphere, and others. They are known in Max as standard primitives. Whenever creating a new primitive in the scene, we must always pay attention to the creation viewport as this defines the position of the gizmo. Let's create a box in this scene. Define the length, width, and height settings as these parameters define the dimensions of the box in the scene. Under the Modify tab, we define the number of segments for each of the previously mentioned parameters. Press the F4 key to enable segment viewing. See how now we can add the number of segments needed for modeling the object. The other geometries function based on the same logic, however other parameters are applied. Now let's create a sphere in the scene. See how this object is created based on the radius value and the number of segments. Define the radius and the E height consecutively to create the cylinder you see here. After learning a little about standard primitives, now let's learn about extended primitives. Extended primitives are made up of objects based on more than one standard primitive. They are also parametric and there are innumerable possibilities for a construction. Here we see an example of a hedra. This extended primitive is used for creating several objects. When creating an object using the perspective viewport or top viewport, Create the primitive based on the same X, Y, and Z axis. However, when creating a primitive from another viewport, the dimensioning fields will be changed. For example, the height field will be displayed in the Z axis. But when we create the primitive in the left viewport, then the height will be dimensioned based on the x-axis. Then to make it possible to modify the height, in this case, we will have to change the length field instead of the height field. So, in this class, we studied about creating solid geometries in 3ds Max. Now we can create the primitives for our design.